What happens when a kid meets a pipe organ? To find out, let's go to a pipe organ encounter. Each summer, the American Guild of Organists sponsors pipe organ encounters in different places around the United States. It's like a summer camp where 20 to 30 kids get together for a week to learn about the pipe organ and have a lot of fun. You'll have organ lessons every day, go on field trips, and make a lot of new friends. One, three. Last year, my teacher told me about POE, and um, she thought that I should go. So last year I went, and it was a lot of fun, so I decided to come back this year. So what's so special about the pipe organ? Oh, well, definitely it would have to be the big sound. I mean, organs can, can produce volumes that are so loud, and it makes everything vibrate, and it's just so exciting. One of the first things you might do at a pipe organ encounter is go take a look at an organ. I mean, really take a look. Crawl all over it and see how it works. Let's take the first group. And organ crawls are cool, because you actually get to climb around inside the organ and see how the parts work together to make music. So the first group wants to follow me, come on up. Trump on the keyboards for us, guys. I want to show these people what happens. See how all the keyboards move this? Now if you watch up. All righty. Okay. Now some pedal action for us. Now we have a whole different set of things that move down here. All righty, that was just lovely. <laughs> okay, let's head on up to the organ up inside. So you'll see a few wooden pipes as you go by. There's a part of the pedal. Even says what it is on the back. <laughs> Follow me up, if you would. So watch your step. Ron, play a little bit for us on the, uh, on the positive principles. They want to hear what it's like right up close. Once you've crawled through a three-story organ, it's kind of neat to see how they're made. You might get a chance to visit an organ factory and meet the people who build pipe organs. Who knows, maybe you want to be an organ builder yourself. Organs are the largest musical instruments in the world. They can weigh several tons and have hundreds of pipes and thousands of parts. And every single piece must be custom made. I started here about eight and a half years ago, right out of high school. I was in a work program in high school, and a chick was involved in this work program, and he kept me on after I graduated. As time went on, I just kept on going to each and, each and everything in the shop I can do. Every day, you'll have a private lesson with an organ teacher, and you'll also get a chance to practice what you've learned. Most kids here have never played the organ before, and it can be tough to get the hang of it at first. But don't worry, the teachers really care and they'll help you find pieces you can play. I need to what, what did we say about don't stop? <laughs> <laughs> I know, but right. I need to slow down. I okay, let's like go back to here and just start it at a little slower tempo. That was, that was better than you've done it before. <laughs> Until I got to that. Right, yeah. just keep going. Playing the organ is different from playing the piano because A, you have to watch three bars of music at once and <laughs> you have to play them all at the same time. And it's not just your hands, it's your feet, and it takes total concentration. Okay, let's go from the beginning. My music director played the organ, and she was like my idol when I was growing up. And so I really wanted to do this, not just for me, but for like people around me, my parents, and especially her. Okay, now this is a really good fanfare. I want this first chord to be more solid. So when you come in, it's gotta be pow, like that. Remember this last pedal has to be slightly retarded. It still has to be really crisp and articulated. Okay, let's try it again. 
right. I'd heard the big Tabernacle organ I whole life because we'd turn it on Sunday mornings and listen to it and I was always amazed at the grandeur of it and I, I would like sometimes go over to my church maybe after after services and I could just see myself playing and having everybody singing along and it just you know just a great feeling you know I'm kind of torn right now because I'm gonna be learning real heavy classical music in college and I like Bach, of course, but who doesn't? Um, but I really like the theater organ stuff because it's, it's exciting and it makes you know people really like it and can get into it. If you're lucky, you might get a chance to see a silent movie. Before movies had sound, theater organists used to play the entire soundtrack live every time the movie was shown. Another great thing about the pipe organ encounter is you get to meet lots of professional organists. They'll show you what it's like to play the organ in churches, movie theaters, and concert halls. Probably the most exciting thing about going to a pipe organ encounter is getting the chance to play a really awesome instrument. If you're really brave, you might even get to play a recital at the end of the week for your friends and family. It's kind of exciting and a great chance to show off what you've learned. Most of the, the attitude that kids have towards organ, oh, it's an old fogey instrument that it's not very popular anymore. But it's just so fun to play. I mean, you have lots and lots of power behind just 10 fingers and two feet, and I say do it if you really want to, because it's a lot of fun. Who knows, this experience might be the start of a new chapter in your life. Hope we'll see you at the next Pipe Organ Encounter. If you would like to learn more about how you can attend a Pipe Organ Encounter or sponsor one in your community, please write us. The American Guild of Organists, 475, Riverside Drive, Suite 1260, New York, New York, 10115. Or call 212-870-2310. You can also email us at info at agohq.org or visit our website at www.agohq.org.